Okay, welcome. My name is Dirk. About two months ago, I've uh, planted uh, some Australian pictures. Um, it was via a leaf cuttings. And um, today I'm going to see how much roots are sitting on the leaves and on the pitcher plants itself. I'm first starting with only peat and perlite mixture. Let me get you some water. Maybe just a little bit more. Is rainwater? This is one of the leaves. I can see some roots there. Some of the pictures. I've got, I can see some root development on the two leaf cuttings here. And it looks also like on the pictures itself. I'm moving over to light only and water to see if here is some uh, root development nothing nothing let's go to the pictures nothing nothing now I've got on the last uh, bucket, I've got some long uh, spagnum. Going to see if here is root development. And nothing. This is a picture. Also nothing. This is nothing. And then I've got here I overgrown with uh, nothing also. So I've got no root development in uh, long sphagnum fibers. I've got no root development in my perlite, but I do have some development with peat and perlite. So I'm going to mix some perlite with the peat. Then I'm going to replant them again. I'm going to replace this four again with the roots development. Okay, so after two months, I'm going to check up on the leaf or the root 
development again. I hope you will find this a nice update regarding the medium types I um, have used. Um, at root development with a mixture of peat and perlite and no root development with only uh, peat uh, with perlite and water and no root development with spechnum, live spechnum. I've got uh, some uh, drusera but uh, that's for another time. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.